We need a new space, a place for political experimentation. The next frontier is the ocean. With a little technical innovation to make this frontier accessible, we can unleash enormous political innovation. Let's let a thousand nations bloom on the high seas and build a startup sector for government. Sea setting is a totally different approach to political activism. My grandfather, Milton Friedman, was a proponent of better ways of living together, and I think we need to actually put them into practice. The idea for seasteading is to be a laboratory for people to experiment with solutions to the problems that aren't being solved by countries today. If you look at the global financial crisis, for example, part of the reason it did so much harm is that most of the world used very similar banking systems, very similar lending systems. A system without a lot of diversity is fragile because when something happens that breaks the system, it happens everywhere. What we want to do is provide a way for the people who have solutions to go test them out in practice. You need a blank place like the founders of America had back in the 18th century. And that's why we're building the community and discovering the technology that will let us settle the ocean. This next story really could have a direct impact on how we live in the very near future. It's with a new idea, something called sea steading. Millions of voters got the change they wanted on election day. But what about those that didn't? If they can't elect the government they want, maybe they can make the government they want. We'll go 200 miles out to sea, and guess what? There's no government. And that's the way a guy named Patry Friedman likes it. To see that is to go out into the empty ocean where people don't live, and to make a home there. At the beginning, we think it'll be people living on converted ships. And then over time, they'll build villages based on oil platforms. And then what we're most excited about is the big cities that can happen in decades. These new cities will embody new forms of government, economics, and law. And countries on land, desperate to keep up, will copy the best governmental innovations and will finally get political systems that evolve like the rest of our technologies. Our insight is at a deeper level. It's that in order to find new societies, new forms of organization and legal systems that serve people better, we need to try new ones. And we want to try lots of new ones, lots of new ones that are very different. That's the way that knowledge advances and that humanity advances, when any group of people can go try out their new ideas and we can copy the ones that work, switch out of the ones that don't work, and get progress. <laughs>